Why would you want to hit a golf ball with a six-foot mechanical club? It's not the impeccable swing of an Arnold Palmer or Gary Player, but it puts the little white ball to a test flight that ends with measuring tape. The story starts in this Liverpool factory with a blob of plastic paste that is the springy but resilient core of the golf ball. When this gooey substance hardens, it's wound round with over 80 feet of high-tension elastic rubber to give the ball its bounce. Another plastic substance going by the grand name of transpolyisoprene forms the familiar outer casing of the golf ball, made in two moulds, which must fit together exactly. This is where the golf ball gets its surface of tiny dimples, 332, no more, no less. And the paint is plastic too. Every dimple is scrutinised carefully because they're the golf ball's secret of flight. They grip the air like a tyre tread grips the road. Each ball must be the correct weight, and to see how well it stands up to hard driving, the experts have devised this golf ball gun with a 120 miles an hour punch. <laughs> Tests like these give the Sunday morning putter the same chance as Arnold Palmer, as far as the ball's concerned. This automatic driver with multiple arms really rains the fairway with showers of sample strokes. Next time you miss...